Okay, so you know about me, why I got started with coaching. So what do we actually do as coaches? Let me just turn this lighting on. Maybe it'll help. What do we actually do? What does our job entail? The primary thing we do as coaches is work on ourselves diligently in all ways. We work on our mindset. We're constantly reading or listening to material that is improving our mindset. We are working on our bodies. We are moving our bodies, learning about our bodies, shaping our bodies. We are learning about nutrition, what works with our body, what doesn't work with our body. We are learning about ourselves constantly. We're not perfect. We don't have nutrition and fitness figured out. We're just learning about ourselves consistently and we're inviting other people to come into that journey with us and do that for them with us alongside them. It's a lot like if you're going to go see a movie and you're like, I really don't want to go see this movie by myself. I'd rather go with a friend or two or four or whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and invite them to come with me to go see this movie because a movie is usually much more fun when there's other people involved. The same is true of our business. Our Health and fitness is a lot more fun when other people are involved, which is why I personally have created a community for my clients called the Workout Warrior Wellness Studio, where they can do that together because it is so much more fun to support each other. And if you're going through something hard, it's such a safe space to go into to ask for support. Um, and then that's why we have a team. We also have a team page on Facebook called Meta Movement, where we get to support each other and ask questions and, you know, share business tips. And it's the idea of doing it together is makes a big difference. And so our job is to take care of ourselves and to invite other people to come along the ride and take care of themselves with us so that we can do that together. We do that a couple of specific ways. Social media is the primary way that a lot of my coaches choose to grow their business that I've chosen to grow my business, but you can do that in person as well. As soon as you start seeing results and you're changing and you're glowing, people are going to start asking you, what are you doing? And that'll be an opportunity for you to talk about what it is that you're doing. But really online is the way that we get to share our story. And that's how I teach you guys to use your social media, to use it as an open journal for a conversation with your audience, to educate your audience, to connect with your audience, to see where they are and what they're needing and if you can help them. You're not going to be able to help every single person with what you have to offer with our products and our programs, but there are a lot of people that could benefit greatly from what it is that you have to offer. And so our job is really about sharing our journey to make ourselves accessible to other people so that other people can see what it is that we're doing and then decide for themselves, like, is that something that I think would work for me? Is that something that I think would benefit me in my life to do what they're doing, how they're doing it? Um, I want to make sure I cover the notes that I wanted to share with you guys. So Building testimonials as well. So social media is a place where you go and you share progress. You share not just your own progress, but the progress of your teammates or the progress of your clients. So you build up this sense of um, proof, right? Evidence to the fact that our programs work, our products work, and they can work for you. That's the number one thing people want to know is when they're struggling with something, it's like, will this work for me? And so we use a lot of testimonials from ourselves and from other people as far as images go or just stories go to help people see that no matter where they are in, in whatever walk of life, they can also benefit from this experience that we have to offer. And the biggest thing is taking the time to cultivate relationships. That's like the bulk of our work is we go online and we share our story and then we look to connect with people that we have a vibe with. I feel like you know when you really connect well with someone. You'll meet them online and there's something about their picture or there's something about a post that they made or something. There's an energy about them where you're like, this person is someone I'd love to talk to. I'd love to work with. Um, and that's a very intuitive process. And that's exactly how I teach it to my coaches is really about sifting through your current friends and your new friends and feeling like, who is it that I would love to work with? Who's that, who do I feel like I could sit down and talk to for hours? Who would I love to go to coffee with? Who would I love to go out on a date with? Who are those people that really bring joy and light into your life? And could this opportunity be something that they also resonate with? Or 
could they use any of the tools that I have to better their own life, whether or not the business opportunity is of interest to them? That's really how I search for clients and for coaches is based on that, on frequency and vibration, because you're going to come across so many people. And a mistake I think a lot of coaches make is just like inviting whoever to join their groups or to join the business opportunity. And when you don't have chemistry with those people, it's not a shock that they'll drop off or disappear or, you know, your business won't grow the way that you want to grow it. Because growing a business, I think, is tactical and strategic. And it's also very intuitive. It's also about the energetic component of growing the business. <clears throat> so this is really what we do. We have a simple task list that we give to you as soon as you join. It's all in your training materials. And the business has made a really beautiful training segment for you on your website <clears throat> for you to follow. You're basically just taking care of yourself, sharing your story, connecting with other people, inviting the people that you have a connection with that you feel would benefit from this, and then recognizing yourself and recognizing other people for their progress. That Those are the pillars of our business, is we are working on ourselves, we're connecting, we're inviting, we're sharing, and we're recognizing. And that is how this business is really built. On a day-to-day, -day, it looks like making sure that you're feeding your mind with personal development of some kind, or you know that you're doing your training videos to learn more about the business or more about any facet of the business that you'd like to learn about. I had to do a lot of that when I joined. I didn't know anything about running an online business, so I had to learn it all from scratch. I didn't have an Instagram. I had to open an Instagram. I had to figure out how to use Instagram professionally, not just like uploading a random picture here and there, but I didn't understand how to use Instagram professionally or Facebook. So all of that is training that you'll have in your back office at the Beachbody site that you're given, the coach office, but it is also stuff that you're going to have access to on YouTube. You can learn how to do all of this on YouTube, which is how I and my coaches have learned how to run a business online. Um, I just launched a podcast and I didn't know how to launch a podcast. I had to teach myself how to launch a podcast online. I watched YouTube tutorials and I read articles and eventually I figured it out. Luckily, you coming into this business, you have me and you have an entire team of people that can answer your questions and support you and you don't have to just rely on the internet. You know, that's one of the beauties of network marketing is that you get a network, you get a whole bunch of other people to help you. You don't have to figure this out on your own, which I think is amazing and genius. Um, so that this is really the bulk of our work. Now, the biggest piece of it is really the personal development piece, because once you begin this business, you're going to go from being someone who maybe never had a business or never saw themselves as a business owner to a business owner. And that's a massive mindset shift. That's like a big step up, which is amazing and really empowering. And it's going to require some time for your brain to create a new template by which you are now a business owner and for you to begin to see that as normal and natural. So when you come into the business, it's very tempting to just start doing a bunch of stuff, a bunch of action steps, and to really ignore the personal development piece. And I really encourage you not to do that. So important that you build the template for yourself in your mind where you see yourself as the CEO of your business and you take it seriously and you take yourself seriously. And that does take time. It takes time for you to build a new idea, a new blueprint of yourself, and for you to begin to see the results of that. Right. So I think a lot of coaches, when they come in, they kind of want to skip over that part and you can't. That's a really important component of this business. You are growing a business from the ground up and you have all of us and you have all this support, but you really must focus on how to nourish your mind so that you can step into the full belief that you can do this and you can learn how to do this. Just like you learned how to do a bunch of other stuff in your life, like walk and talk and drive a car all those things you learned, none of that you knew, this you can learn too. And it requires that you learn. Just like you went to school and you learned anything that you know, same thing. So huge part of what we do is self-education, clearly, and self-reflection. And then some action steps that are pretty natural and concurrent with that. Using our products, using our supplements, using our programs, using our nutrition plans, educating on them, sharing your experience of them, and then inviting people that you really connect with and enjoy to join you in the process. That is what we do <laughs> in a nutshell. So join me in the next video where I'll talk about joining costs and also how we earn. So 
I'm not going to go through the full compensation plan. It's pretty thorough. There's about nine different ways that we earn income, but I'm going to cover about four, which are the most immediate ones that you're going to come in contact with when you join. See you then.